here we have an exam question all about trial and improvement. A solution to this equation lies between 4 and 5. The first thing we're going to do is draw a table with three columns. In the first column, we're going to have our values of x. In the middle column, we're going to have this bit here x cubed minus 7x minus 51 and here we're going to write a comment now we're going to use a calculator to do this so i'm going to use a casio this is a great calculator hack so turn it on and then we're going to go to mode and we want table so we we'll press number three and now it tells us f of x this means a function of x and we're going to write this in here the x cubed minus 7x minus 51. So we'll go alpha and we'll find the x button, which is just here where the bracket is. So we've got x and then we want to do cubed. Take away 7x. So we've got to go alpha and press that x again. And then we're going to take away 51. We press equals. We want to start at 4. We want to end at 5. So we type that in, we press equals after each input. And we want to go up in steps of 0 0.1 because we want the answer to one decimal place. And when I press equals, it gives me a table of results. So rather than inputting each one individually, I can scan through this until, here it is, we go from, we're trying to get an answer of zero. And here we go from negative 1.593 to positive 3.384 and that happens when x is 4.3 we get this bit so 4.3 cubed minus 7 lots of 4.3 minus 51 and it equals minus 1.593 when we put in 4.4, we get 3.384. Now we want the answer to be zero. So this negative value here is too low. And this positive value here, we want it to be zero. So the positive value is too high. Now we only need our answer correct to one decimal place. So one of these is correct. But we need to work out which one is it closest to. So we do one more step, 4.35, and that's halfway between these. If you go back to the calculator, press the orange button, not on, press AC. It goes back to this bit with our function, press equals, but this time we want to start at 4.3. So we type that in, 4.3, press enter. We want to end at 4.4, 4.4. Press enter. And we want to go up in steps of 0.01 to get this extra decimal place here. 0.01. Press equals. And in our table, we're going to scroll down until we get to 4.35. And it tells us that the output of that is. So 4.35 cubed minus 7 lots of 4.35 minus 51 is 0.862875. Which compared to zero is too high. It's very close, but it's not exactly zero. What this means is that our answer to one decimal place is closer to 4.3. If 4.35 is too high, we go to 4.3. I'm going to circle that there and then I'm going to write my answer clearly here x equals 4.3 to 1 decimal place. I'll get four marks for this. I've used the function correctly to get my answers here. I've gone halfway between the two that were highlighted to me and I've selected the correct one.